Okay, so we're setting up the EGL 624GM um, with the fence alignment kit to go and do our vertical fence alignment. Now there's three ways we can set up the EGL 624GM for our fence alignment. We can set it up with a standard offset as we've got there. We've affixed the, um, the scope bracket directly to the rotation plate on the offset side so that that will rotate in the middle of our scope which is where our fence line is. We've set our laser up at that offset, okay. We've set up our receiver, connecting it to the first point um, with the little hand bracket on the, on the end there. Now that can also go into our staff, so we can put it in that position there on the staff and pick it up nice and high in the air. So now our receiver is offset, identical to the offset that we've set with the scope and the laser. We've got that system set up with that um, post mount. So we've just clamped that post mount onto the post there. If I sit that down a little bit, if I rotate this out of the way, so loosen that off, you see that I've got the adjustable slide so I can locate, locate that wherever I want. It's really designed for larger posts. So we could put that over a two or 300 mil um, strainer post. This is only a little 150 mil post. Um, but it works, works a treat. So we've got another thing. laser set up with our, um, on a tripod with our laser offset bracket. We've affixed now our scope bracket on the end here with the rotation plate directly under the scope again. We've set that laser up at the large offset. So that's a, a really wide offset if we need to really get that laser well away from our work zone. Um, generally would set it up at the standard offset we've just looked at there or we can turn that laser back around I'll take that lug out and now we've set our laser up so it's directly over the top of our scope if we're wanting to run our laser straight down fence line again I've set the um, rotation plate up so that the controls are where I can get to them. Ideally, I think I'd set them the other way. So I'll just loosen off the bottom, twist it around, lock it back on. So I've got the controls there when I come and uh, sight in my fence. Um, get that plumb point directly over my, over my post. And again, now I'm rotating on that plumb point with that laser. With, with our receiver bracket, then what I would do is take off the little handpiece, affix that straight down the centre there. Our laser receiver, we can take that off and fix it across the centre um, onto the locating knob. And then our receiver is going to pick up. I'll show you just for reference. So there I've now fixed my receiver into that central location, the little hand bracket down the centre. And now, I haven't tightened that up. Now I can go down and pick up that laser and mark directly on the ground or put some marker paint, whatever I need to do, ram the post in as I go, whatever I want. Um, again, we, we wouldn't probably be ramming posts in when we're running on that central location because we will shadow our laser the fur further we work away. And that's the whole idea of working at the offsets. So, so that really shows you the three positions we can set the laser up. We can have the wide offset that we had here originally the laser directly over the scope, or as we've got showing on the other laser there, where we've got our standard offset. We can set our receiver offset bracket up in the vertical mode to pick up the laser online. Our standard offset, or if we shift that receiver across, we're gonna pick up our wide offset. That's all epidextrous. So if we're working with the laser on the offset this side and working away from the laser, we set that down. If we're working with the laser set the other way or working away that way, we can unscrew that bracket and run it the other way and then work in the other direction away from the laser. We can affix that to the staff, as I said, so we can pick up the laser up in the air when we can't see the laser. So really what we want to do now is calibrate in the scope and get to fencing. Okay, so we've set our laser up on the uh, fence alignment bracket. Now what we need to do is calibrate our laser into our scope so we can get fencing. So firstly, loosen off the uh, adjuster bracket on my rotation plate 
I can aim to my strainer in the distance and I've got that ability to um, focal up and focus up and down. Lock that in and then fine tune to get that central to my post. Now if I come around the other side and we'll calibrate in the laser. Alrighty, so firstly if we power our laser on, and at this point I'm really not wanting to touch the whole laser setup because we know they've got that scoped off to the um, to our post in a distance. I've also set my receiver offset bracket up with the marker facing down, my receiver's working away from the laser, okay, parallel off or the same offset. Um, turn the laser on, it's going to flash, level itself, it will level itself vertically so it will compensate for any errors in that setup as we sit. It may cause a slight discrepancy of two or three mil in our vertical offset but the reality is calibrating up to 50 metres away, it's going to negate that any error. From there, what I'll do is once that's um, up and running, is get my remote control and so you've got the X, Y button there. If you hit that three times, the manual light and the Z axis will illuminate, locking that off into manual mode. Now that stops that laser from moving indiscriminately and locks it in. We can still grade match across to our receiver, which we're about to go and do. And then if we actually want to shift that laser, we can power it off with the remote control, shift the laser, power it back on again. The laser will start to rotate in the last position it was in, so we don't have to go and recalibrate. So let's take our receiver down to the other end and calibrate that laser in. So we've put a star post in here that we're working at, and that's what we um, scoped into. If I hold my bracket on that post, press the power button on my receiver, all right, and then the channel button, which is actually your um, auto track button, if we press and hold that button, I heard the laser beep. We've now got a fast flashing blue light, and now that receiver's communicating with the laser, and the laser's gonna track left and right until it finds that receiver. So all we're gonna do is now is stand here and wait. Okay, so now our receiver's starting to talk to the laser. It's showing 19 mil out. It's gonna slowly track in, 10 mil, six mil, four mil, three mil. We've gone green. We're getting a solid beep. We now know that laser's locked in. So that's now locked that laser in parallel with the scope. If we need to reset that laser, we can go back to our laser, look through our scope and now scope off our strainer and our laser is going to be parallel to that scope, okay? Remembering we have locked that in at manual mode, so that laser is not going to move from that point now. So really at this point in time, we just need to get to work and get some posts in the ground. So I'm after me post there. There's me mark. One down. Let's go and see how straight we are. So how's that for a straight fence? Straight down the line, no strainer wire, wouldn't matter whether we went up or over a rise or down into a valley, we can pick up a nice straight fence line with that fence alignment kit from Redback Lasers. 
Okay, so we've set up our first fence. We've shown you how to do a, um, the, the uh, vertical alignment and calibrate in our scope. Now we've come along and we actually want to shoot off a right angle fence from this fence line. We can simply get our laser over that fence line, now using the cross bracket. Okay, shoot down an existing fence line so I can aim down that fence line, lock it in and adjust it, and go off and shoot that right angle fence, whether it be with the offset or again in line. But again, as I said, I always prefer to work with the offset because I'm keeping well clear of my posts.